actually can people be out to their families? I'm not so yeah. sure. So yeah. I wonder if there's like a little bit of a disconnect between what we expect Taiwan to be and what Taiwan actually is like. Not in a really negative way, but yeah. that's what surprises me most. Hey, I'm Beck. Uh, I'm from Australia and I'm studying at uh, National Taipei University of Education and I'm studying contemporary art. I'm from England and I've been here for about nine months. My name is Tiana, I'm from Serbia and I'm a master's student at NCCU. Hi, my name is Natalie. I used to live here in Taiwan for one year in 2019, right before the COVID. I was studying in language center because um, I wanted to study Chinese. So I thought it was a good opportunity to come here and to practice in the um, Chinese speaking country. <laughs> I'm from England and I've been here about three, four months. How would you rate uh, living in Taiwan? Can you rate it on a scale of one to ten? I feel like in terms of like convenience and in terms of like how actually easy it is to live here, yeah. I would give it a ten. Yeah. But if you are trying to learn Chinese, I feel like Taipei is maybe more like a seven. <laughs> yeah, because everyone tried to speak English to you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Education, nine. Overall living standard and the way living is done, like prof professional development and yeah. career-wise, I would say probably ten yeah. or nine. Socially, I would say six. Nine. A solid nine? Yeah, a solid nine, yeah. So uh, it's pretty high. Yeah, yeah. I, I prefer living here. I, I think it's more fun living here than when I was living in the UK. <laughs> I would trade it like for 10 because I really love Taiwan. When I used to live here, I fell in love. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, because it's a really cool country. Yeah. I was interested in culture, in uh, people, in language, in yeah. all of this. About the Advantages of living here is yeah. um, Taiwan is very safe. It's yeah. true. About food, like you have uh, so many different varieties yeah. of food you can try, and almost at any time of the day, like even if you feel hungry at night, you still can go out and like eat 24 something. Hours. Yeah, 24 yeah. hours. That's perfect. Like comparing to Europe or to other countries, it's a big difference. Uh, what is more is uh, mountains, uh, ocean, sea. Yeah. Like Taiwan have has everything which we're small which blood, have everything right yeah so you yeah. can travel and you can see different part of a, parts of the country I'd say I'd say probably like a, a seven or an eight I'm really enjoying it here can you talk about like a good part and bad part yeah maybe you start from a good part <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah okay okay um I think good parts everyone here is really welcoming yeah to, especially to strangers especially to foreigners mm -hmm. Um, yeah, if I, if I ever lost or need help or something, I, I know I can just walk up to someone and say, hey, uh -huh. can you help me? I've got this problem. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone's willing to sort of just go the extra mile for you, even if they don't know you at all. Yeah. Which I think you can find in the UK, but, you know, it's, it's just really a lot more here, which I think is really nice. Transportation is fabulous. It's yeah. amazing. I've never seen anything like that anywhere. People are really kind and um, very reliable. I, there's like so much trust in the society and yeah. it's, it's nice that I don't have to worry if somebody's gonna steal something or snatch something from my bag. I think Taiwanese people like Taipei, where I was living in London, yeah. everybody's always very busy and they're rushing around and people yeah. are sort of, I think Taipei still has the big city feel, yeah. like people are still rushing, but people are so friendly and yeah. so like, compared to really friendly yeah country. I don't know if it's just to like towards foreigners or but yeah compared to London I think people are so friendly yeah. and I think the the f eating out here is so much cheaper than in the UK yeah. so in the UK like I can't afford to eat out like every day but here we, we can meet friends go for coffee go for yeah. food uh, yeah I agree because because uh, I'm Taiwanese right because basically I don't cook Oh, okay. <laughs> I just go out for, for food. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And I hate cooking, so it's yeah. perfect. Yeah, it's perfect for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think sometimes just through your eyes, maybe talk a bit better. That's, that's an interesting question. I think um, one of the things that I've noticed is kitchens here. And this is one of the things that... You mean that, kitchen? Yeah. yeah. One of the things that sort of strikes me as really strange is yeah. everyone here yeah. doesn't... Or yeah, you know, most people will go. Out, I I go out to eat all the time. I don't really cook at all. I'm oh, back yeah, in the UK. The, yeah. 
you do, you know, you, you, you know, you don't really go out to eat all that much. You'll just always cook. And so I miss that. I miss cooking. Oh. Um, and the, you know, the groceries here are really expensive or compared to in the UK. So I don't really, it's just cheaper, it's more convenient to go out. But sometimes I, I just want to cook something. <laughs> it's obvious that I'm a foreigner, yeah. so people are usually afraid and insecure. Even though if they want to like approach mm. you, they're still not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to become really close friends. It takes yeah. a long time yeah. and a lot of effort. And the relationships here, yeah. it's interesting. It's different from the West and the East. Here, relationships are something that is nurtured and cherished yeah. throughout time. But in the West, it's more like short term, no strings attached. But I feel like in some ways, uh, Taiwanese society is a little bit more conservative than I expected before yeah. I came here. Yeah. And I think like one of the things that comes up for me a lot is people say that Taiwan is the first place to legalize gay marriage. Yeah. But then actually in like the community on like a, a daily level, like actually can people be out to their families? I'm not so yeah. sure. So yeah. I wonder if there's like a little bit of a disconnect between what we expect Taiwan to be and what Taiwan actually is like. Not in a really negative way, but yeah. that's what surprises me most. Yeah. It's a banking system. It's really complicated. A banking system? Yeah, okay. <laughs> like comparing to my country, Interesting. if you need to open an account, it takes a lot, like a uh, few hours you need to yeah. spend in the queue, and then you need to provide all the documents, and you, then, then you need to wait. Yeah. Like in my country, you just go, and in one hour, they make everything for you, and everything is ready. and we can use internet bank, Yeah, like it's really simple. Okay. Here, if I need to transfer money, I need to go to the bank office, provide all the documents, a little bit um, time out fun. I think compared to the UK, one thing we all find strange is that there are no bins, like just oh, a little bit of tong. Like, yeah, there, oh. are, there are like no bins anywhere. So if you have rubbish, there's nowhere to put it. Would you mind to uh, say something uh, to the audience? In your own language. I guess it's Russian, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Russian. Um, я хочу сказать, что если вы смотрите видео, передаю всем привет из России. И uh, если вы думаете о том, чтобы ехать на Тайвань, или вы здесь уже находитесь, то рекомендую оставаться. Очень интересный опыт. So I want to say something to my mom. Ciao, mama. Dobro sam sve ok. Sinyen kwaila. Yeah, check it out. Taiwan's sick. Um, I wouldn't necessarily believe the international media about what the situation is like here. It's very chill. Now, I hope you said the news. I hope you will follow. Follow. Yeah, uh, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, follow, subscribe, like, make a video. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to practice your Mandarin? A little bit. Do I have to? <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, do you want to uh, show your Mandarin to the audience? <laughs> My favorite words.